Because I always have a plan in my back pocket. Excuse me, you bald son of a bitch. You look at me when I'm talking. Whoa. Oh. oh, no, he didn't. Where's the blue cyclone? We won't hear him anyway. You suck. Boo, you suck. Boo. As I was saying, there's always a backup plan. Well, sometimes I like just to sit down and relax. So... For tonight's main event, as announced on all of our wonderful social media platforms, we're going to have D Lock yeah. versus Jacob Ryan yeah. in a Love Suck Street fight. Yeah. That's right, you cheer me. You cheer for me. finally snatched away from you by a much better man. You decided to give up. You decided to put your little kitchen shoes in the middle of this ring. And you decided to hang it up and then something something stupid clicked in your head and you decided to pick them back up. And you entered the reunion rumble and once again did not get the job done. So, I give you an opportunity against Jacob Ryan tonight. And the winner, the winner, d -Lock, gets a shot at that piece of gold on my shoulder. But, 
Can you do it again tonight, or are you going to put those kitchen shoes in the middle of the ring again? So that's what. Man, all these people you like love me and love you. It's funny they have their backs turned because I'm about to stir some shit up. in the back. I'll give you my debit card. Put it on your retainer. Let's keep it Explain to me what the point is of having him and I beat the hell out of each other again when we've already done this dance too many times. And no disrespect to you, outlaw, you've had your shot. Oh, can, can I have a microphone? No, I'm going to stay That's here and talk for a minute. I'll talk as loud as I want to. Why did I do this, Jacob, right? Because if you go back to the Avery Hope Memorial, you know, when when, you, when your little arm got hurt and you had a little broken wing and you couldn't do it, kind of like your boy D-Lock here, you, uh, you decided to get in my face when I injured Zach Daniels and say those expletives and you thought that you were going to be a man for once in your life. You decided to step up and to me that sounds like you wanted a challenge because you said, I'm coming for the world title. Well, guess what, pal? It's on my shoulder. And that, don't you, nope, keep it away from your mouth. And then this guy, this guy, Keeps coming back talking about how these people love him, right? They love you, Dylan. Oh, my God, once again, D lock my bag. And, well, what better than just to take all my toys together and I just start playing with them? Oh. And then this one hits this one, and then this one hits this one, and all of a sudden the pieces start to fall apart because you're broken and you're washed up. Oh. That's why. Oh, yeah. You know the difference is now I don't see your long hair bitches standing behind you. So I can take that anytime right. I want. Yeah. Yeah. You're, right. You're right. Everybody always says I can't do this by myself, but they're not here. They must have got stuck in that snowstorm. Oh. Jada, I hate to tell this to you. you. Better listen to him. You're gonna have to go through me first to get to him. Go him. Oh. When I go through you, oh. go through you. Yeah. You're next. Yeah. yeah. Because the fact of the matter is, I didn't quit. I kept going. I get up and get up and keep going and going and going, getting back to the top of the mountain where you don't belong. Yeah. Because it's not just me. I do this for the passion. I do this for the love of the business because that's what I am and that's what I care about. And for you, I'll see you in the main event. Outlaw, there's one thing you need to remember. You better remember. I broke my body to become the longest reigning YouTube champion. Just imagine what I'll put myself through and what I'll put you through to get to that fat bastard over there. Whoa! Yeah. Whoa. 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 You can look at the pictures from last weekend, brother. We were side by side. <laughs> but uh, you two go ahead and get to the back out of my ring and get focused on your match tonight. Go ahead. Get, go. And I... I think I'm going to sit out here with all of you tonight. I think that I'm going to watch this show sit right
seems uh, as if there was a lot of tension in this ring just now. What y'all say? Yeah. What y'all say? Yeah. What do you want? Let's see. What do you want? Oh. Well, let's see. Um, I know you said something about sitting on the sidelines tonight, sitting watching this amazing show tonight. But look, I don't have nothing tonight. I, I guess Zach Xander got stuck in that snowstorm. Yeah. Um, yeah, so you, the guy who decided to build the tag team division back up right, and then all of a sudden you think that you can step in the ring with me. Do you remember what happened last time we were in this ring, Tyler? I took your entire world away. I took your company, and I made it bigger and better. So, you want to say all those things? Yes, I do remember what happened at Ultimate Redemption last year. I do. A lot of people clamored that, you know, this match between me and you should have been the main event. There's been a lot of talks about other things between me and you. But as far as tonight goes, I think it's time that, you know, since we are very limited on our roster tonight, I finally proved myself as to why I deserve to be BTW World Heavyweight Champion. Yeah! Why I deserve to take back those three letters right there. Yeah. 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 Ooh, it is so, I'm gonna extend a little offer to you tonight. I'm gonna see if you wanna take it. What about right here tonight, you defend that BTW World Heavyweight Championship against me. Yeah. Yeah. But after I beat you tonight, I guess I'll either be stepping in the ring with Jacob Ryan or D Lock for the first time ever on BTW. Yeah. You know, Tyler, love sucks, right? Love Sucks was the last time you got a shot at the BTW World Heavyweight Championship. And I'll be completely and utterly honest with you. I costed you that opportunity, and I'll do it every chance I can. So tonight, if it's a fight you want, I will gladly see you in this ring. And actually, I'll see you in this ring in just a couple minutes. So I'm going to head to the back. I'm going to get changed. And the first match of this show is going to be you and me, Gooba. And it's a shame Whoa. that love still sucks. FNW. It is I, Ace Christian, the Blaze Ace Christian, your 2024 Reunion Rumble winner. And man, I want to be there. I want to be there. I'm craving to be back there. But you know, Aaron Jones said, you can take the night off. You don't have to come. I wanted to. I just couldn't. He gave me the boot. He put me on the sidelines for the show. You know why? Because he knows that I could cash in at any time. So let's talk about that. I went into the Rumble. Already had no starting out the year. So things could have went really bad for me. Could have gotten a lot worse. But I moved on from the next. I had the max with the static. Give all, give him all the props. But... It was on to the next after that, and that was the Reunion Rumble. I went into that Rumble at number 10. I outlasted 19 other people, including guys like Ecstatic, Jacob Ryan, d -Lock, and Merrick. You know, I'm sure everybody thought whenever it was just me and Merrick, I'm sure everyone thought it was going to be Merrick. Because, you know, he's probably the top threat for Aaron Jones right now. But nope, that ain't the case no more. Because you know why? Because I am the contract holder. I am the biggest enemy to either 
Aaron Jones or Ash for Christ. Because with this journey of Ace Christian, there is only two different paths that this journey can take for me in VTW this year. Path A, the VTW YouTube Championship. Prove everybody wrong about who the better wrestler is between me and Astro Christ. Could do it then. Path B, the VTW World Heavyweight Championship. Going back to best in your four, after the show ended, Aaron Jones pulled me in the ring and he told me that I was the future. And listen here, boss man. No matter where I am, no matter if I'm there or not, the future is here and you cannot run from it. Because at the end of the day, that contract that I just won, that is your biggest enemy, Aaron Jones. That is your biggest enemy, Asher Christ. And no matter where or who I cash it in on, whoever steps in my way, whether it's a champion or not, you are the next one done. Sucks, ladies and gentlemen, or Velma Gildaleo, here alongside Roy Farnsworth here today on top of the action, as always, calling it, calling it for the heart, for the lovers, for the haters, are your main event tonight, a rematch from last year, the outlaw, d takes on unrefined Jacob Ryan, Roy, it's gonna be the Love Sun Street Fight, and it's the number one contender for the BTW championship but my god orville we also got arbor man taking on asap and i'm telling you what these two newcomers have something to prove here in btw who is gonna take the w home both of these men could gain momentum from that victory but then we have the ecstatic show with the mystery that is known as Merrick. Is Ecstatic gonna be able to pull answers out of Merrick? What, what's the purpose here? Well, we don't exactly know. Merrick has a lot of mystique behind him. But up next, Ultimate Redemption rematch. We saw in our opening segment this match get established. Tyler Aiken takes on the real boss man, Aaron Jones, for the BTW World Heavyweight Championship. Said, uh, said about all that needed to be said about how we feel about this man. But he can't hear us, so I think we're going to be able to keep our jobs. I'm telling you what, Tyler Aiken versus Aaron Jones is a match made in heaven. I'll say that. I'll say that. But I will say, I hope Tyler Aiken beats the ever loving, disrespectful piss out of Aaron Jones. Well, Roy, I think we're in agreement there. We all know 
my feelings on the real boss man, Aaron Jones. Well, Orvel, you're going to have to try to keep yourself under control. The last time this match happened, you had to step away from commentary. You had to call the rest of the show, Roy. And now Aaron Jones, Tyler Aiken looking at each other the mile long stare. The last time these two men were in the ring together. Ultimate redemption. Aaron Jones defeated Tyler Aiken. Last man standing to become the new chairman of BTW. But Tyler Aiken now looks to become the new world heavyweight champion. Could you imagine how amazing it would be to have Tyler Aiken as champion. The Gooba! Just like the bad sons, keep failing. Oh. Keep failing just like you failed at this company, Tyler. Boo. Keep failing like your singles career, Tyler. Listen, Get out of here. Like it's time for you to hang those boots up. Don't listen to him, Gooba! Tyler, are you ready? That's just me. Sounds a bitch, you ready? Oh, yeah. Whoa. Read the bell! The bell has sounded! Oh my God, Senior Official Little Debbie here, Tyler Aiken going! And then Taylor, oh, oh my god! Right to the moot of Aaron Jones! Roy, you gotta think, it's gotta be eating Tyler Aiken alive that Aaron Jones just said, you know, keep failing, keep failing just like you failed your singles career, like you failed yourself in this company, and I don't think that's true at all, but it's got a light of fire under Tyler Aiken's ass, Roy. Absolutely. Oh! Jones goes for that chop! Tyler Aiken moves! All hand made contact with the post there, boy! Absolutely. Aaron Jones could have fractured Good. ligaments in his no. hand, and now Tyler Aiken making sure that jaw's fractured too. Tyler and Aiken again. on fire early on in this matchup, boy. You know, I, I would say that the pace of the match dictates whoever gets this opening momentum. Oh, and momentum shifts. Well, that looked like it'd leave a mark. Or three. Oh. Looks like Aaron Jones is stalking his prey now, Roy. Come on, Aiken, get up. Oh, no, flipping spear. Flipping spear early on, Roy. Could this be it? Come on, get off of him. Why choke him? Why choke him? Because that's the dirty antics Aaron Jones displays in every single one of his matches. If it's not him, it's one of his goons, Nicky Chooch or Chase Wakefield. It's never a clean fight with this despicable burst. Absolutely. Now Jones throwing Aiken into the corner. Could be looking for one of those signature chops. Oh, well, okay. Oh, Roy, did you hear the thud? I don't like hearing it. Oh, 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 gosh. Just when you think Aiken might find a sliver of momentum. Jones is there to just cut him right back down. Aaron throwing that solid steel ass right into Tyler Aiken. That big ass right into Tyler Aiken as he tries to gain composure in the corner. Absolutely, there's the headbutt there. Brutal. And now, uh-oh. What could Jones be setting up for here? Could we see that corner Sinton? He seems to be loving that move as of late. Oh, oh that disrespect. What the hell was that? Oh, that's your world champion, Roy. That's your world champion. Oh, come on, Aiken. Come on, Aiken. Oh, no. Bangarang. Bangarang. Only the two count there, Roy. We, we've really seen a change in Aaron Jones's style over the last few months, haven't we, Roy? We've seen a more vindictive, a more aggressive, a more malicious side of this despicable man, finally seeing his true colors after all these years. Well, let's keep in mind, before Aaron Jones won the world championship, we saw a lot of... Uh, Shall I say insecurities what? in the boss man? Um, things he may not have wanted us to see. Some, you know, getting beat by Zach Daniels. A lot. Getting beat by Asher Christ. Yeah, all the holes in Aaron Jones's story here. He he wants you to think he's some big evil maniacal man, but he's just a softy. Absolutely. But obviously, he's not being very soft on Tyler Aiken's eyeballs right now. Those goggles of the Gooba lifted up. The thumbs in the eyes. Gooba goggles. Oh, he moves. He moves on the big ass. Come on, Tyler. Oh, high knee there by Tyler. Good lord. 
broke his jaw, Roy. Meteora in the corner. Tyler Aiken gaining some momentum here, Roy. Could this be what he needs? This could be all right here. Oh, Jones with the shoulder up at two. Roy, what do you think this match means to Tyler Aiken? I mean, think about where his position in the company right now. What would it mean for the extremely great Aikens? And what would it mean for the Gooba himself if he walked away here, VTW World Heavyweight Champion? The last time these two men faced him, Tyler Aiken endured an injury. Sling blade! After Aaron Jones did a flipping senton to him on a steel chair. And, and I, I, I can't help but think Tyler Aiken must not only want redemption for himself, must not only want to incapacitate the boss man, but he also wants that BTW World Heavyweight Championship. And the, the, this could be it. all. That's it right there, Roy. <sighs> Arms under the rope. Arms under the rope. Oh, pull the arm. Little Debbie, why do you have to be no. so good at your job? He was so close. Yeah. It's not over for the Goomba here. Yeah. He's looking. Goomba Hawk! Goomba Hawk! This could damn well be it. It better damn sure will be. Goomba Hawk! Tap! Tap! Do it. Do it. No. Roy. It seems the reign of the boss man is over. Oh. Yeah, come on. No. No. no! Damn it! No. Jones is working his way back up! No! God! Good God! Shades of ultimate redemption! The F5 onto those knees of Tyler Aiken! Go! Oh God, that's it! Oh. Thanks for coming, Tyler Aiken. Well, that's a pretty sour way to start this show off. Let's take a look back at what finished us off here. God, that huge disc is hilarious. Love may still suck, but so does having Aaron Jones as the world champion. Aaron Jones walking away victorious here at VTW Love still sucks. What an impressive showing, I must say, from Tyler Aiken looking on fire tonight, but ultimately couldn't get the job done against the world heavyweight champion. He took his goggles off. He should have been disqualified, Ravel. I don't make the rules, Roy, but I wish I did, because if I did, we'd never see a day that Aaron Jones was world heavyweight champion. Just staring down, Tyler Aiken. Just get to the back. The damage is done. Or in this case, keep being sick, best bitch. Oh. Despicable. But ladies and gentlemen, let us not forget, we are on the road to VTW Mania coming this spring for the first time in nearly six years. That's right, Roy, VTW Mania is back where all roads lead. Let's get Sun's out, it's very bright. That's why I brought my spectacles. 
Hope everybody's having a good time. Yeah. I would like to invite my very special guest, someone who I'm sure all of you at home, all of you here would love to hear from, and that is Mac. Yeah. He's supposed to come out here on the ecstatic show, but I guess he's uh, I guess he's not going to. Well, you know what? That's perfectly fine because the whole reason I want America to come out here is really, really just for one reason, and that reason is that all of last year I chased one thing, and I didn't get to accomplish my goal. But then Joe Schmo in the sock puppet mask with his emo pants can just walk in here, okay, and get Aaron Jones' new love interest. I guess he has some bass in his voice. He has some bass in his voice, don't he? Because I don't, apparently. <laughs> Aaron, I'm coming for you. And Merrick, as far as I'm concerned, you have always been a shadow here. <laughs> and I'm looking to keep it that way. You know, I realized something about you, Merrick. You're not here for Aaron Jones, no. Because that's what everybody wants to think. You're not here for Aaron Jones. You're here because you failed. You failed. Best in the RT, you came out here for some reason, you pinned the APW World Heavyweight Champion. For who knows what reason, because I still am confused about it. Uh, everybody is. You know, you had your opportunity. You had your chance to bask in glory, and you soiled it. So just like back then, Mary, I'm gonna make sure you continue to stay where you belong in the shadows. And if you're not gonna come out and talk to me like a man, then hashtag no standards. I apologize to all of you beautiful people. Sorry to get on my soapbox. Finally, you've proven to us all you got something under there, right? <laughs> you don't want to come out and talk? I guess you can. I guess you're mute. Sorry. My bad. My bad. So, what, so, so what's it going to be, right? We're supposed to wrestle tonight. I want you tonight. What's it going to be, Mary? Ooh. Huh? You got the standards to live up to me? Huh? I don't think you do. I don't think you do. With your little zipper BDSM looking like a freaking gimp over here. What? He accepts. Oh! oh. oh. Roy! Hey. Where'd the lights go? We're about to get the lights on! Get the lights on! What the hell's happening? I don't hear any commotion. Sneaky bastard. Come on. 
Where are the lights? The lights! Where'd he go? He's gone! Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Roy, he's gone! But, 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 the match, the match was made official Bye, though, Roy! Right? Here tonight, on See Love Still Sucks, it's gonna be the Silver Standard! Yeah. Ecstatic yeah. versus Merrick, his first singles match in six years! Unorthodox. You never quite know what you're going to get. I absolutely have to agree with you there, Roy. I've called a few of Arbor Man's matches, and uh, he's very unique. Yeah, him and that damn stick. That damn stick, indeed. ASAP Arbor Man. In the ring, referee Cree Dog <laughs> caught the action. Look at that. Oh. What? I think it's Roy. Roy. <laughs> I'm I think it's good. What is happening there, Roy? I think we just gained 40 subs were bell, but the bell is wrong. Whoa. ASAP, a little quick there. Barber Man and ASAP tying up here for the first time. Oh, hold up. Wrestling. ASAP with an impressive technical showing here early on in this matchup. Absolutely has the wrist of the green man, Arbor Man. Wow, wrist hold applies. Oh, he's taking Arbor Man to the limit here on technicality, Roy. Oh, the Arbor Man, veteran advantage there. He knows the rules. Arbor Man, all those tours of Japan. I heard he did a little independent work in Chile. You know, yes. Rebel, whoever wins this contest, th this will be their okay. first victory in BTW. Yeah. Oh. You know, Roy, it will. Uh, both of these men have a lot to gain and a lot to lose here in BTW. Whoever walks away with a victory here, like you said, Roy, it'll be their first victory. But that means the other man's still going to be on a losing streak, Roy. Absolutely. Things are not looking up oh, for oh. Arbor Man. But Arbor Man's got to reverse. He's on his shoulders. Two count. Oh, show of respect there. He's weird. We got some moves. These men, newcomers, both these men understand. They they want that win. Well, think about a win. What a win that Love Still Sucks could do for either one of these men. They could put them in a, in a title scene. Could one of these men be going after the YouTube championship after this role? Absolutely. Anything's possible. See, oh, both men go for the drag. Both men go for the arm drag. Look at that. Another stalemate. That thing has another. Just when you thought things were about to pick up, both of these men, they're not done feeling each other out. They think they know one another, but the other keeps the president around. What is that? What is that? Third leg man. 
Third leg, man. Third. Interesting story from Arbor Man here, all the way from his independent days in Chile. Two versus the world wrestling in Hickory, North Carolina. Arm drag. Absolutely. Very, very unorthodox looking arm drag there, but Arbor Man, nonetheless, now has. Oh, man, right under the chin there. All legal. Except with the quickness here, getting the advantage of Arbor Man. We've seen ASAP's very quick, unorthodox style pay off pretty well for him here in VTW. He's had very impressive showings every single time, but he's never been able to pick up that W. Absolutely. Now has the arm of Arbor Man. ASAP quite, has quite the technical prowess, if I do say so myself. I would agree. From what we know, he's been a lot, a lot of places, done a lot of really interesting things. Look at that rich in the arm there of Arbor Man, twisting it inside out. He's really trying to incapacitate that arm of the Arbor Man. Oh, indeed, that, that, that limb, maybe we should say. Oh, well, let's see what you did there, Roy. Oh, yeah. I can be quite punny sometimes. He's got the limb. Working the limb, Arbor Man. Jawbreaker. Jailbreaker by the Arbor Man! Arbor Man's coming back! Uh, what would it mean if Arbor uh, Man picks up a victory here in the Roy? Could you see Arbor Man in the YouTube title scene? I, you, you know, possibly. Very exciting. Very interesting competitor here. One of the only mass competitors we, we have. Besides Blue Cyclone and Boss the Sauce Bigsby, apparently. Oh, poor oh, boss. Oh, Let's not oh, forget oh, Boss the Sauce Bigsby is a feeling a little under the weather here tonight. Fist drop by my, the Arbor Man. My God. Fist meeting the skull of ASAP. And ASAP kicking out as soon as possible. ASAP got that fist dropped right on his head, and I know he was thinking, yep, that still sucks. Oh, God. Did you see the boot right to the sternum? Oh, and now I a hellacious forearm. Yep. Almost knocking the mask clean off of Arbor Man. Oh, and Arbor Man breaks the eyes. What do you think Arbor Man looks like? The tree. The tree. Arbor Man now making a comeback here. He's working ASAP in the corner. Oh no, Roy. We might have just uh -oh. get another 20 something. What could this be? Bulldog! Bulldog, Roy! Could that be it? No, only earns him the two. Arbor Man with that hellacious bulldog. But it only earns him the two count. I'm telling you what, that, I, I don't know what. I've never seen Arbor Man. Very unorthodox movements here. Looks like a standing bulldog. Looks like ASAP could be making making the momentum turn in his favor here. Oh my God, these hellacious uppercuts to Arbor Man. It's gonna knock the mask off of him, Roy. Arbor Man was feeling pretty good after that standing bulldog, but not after those uppercuts. Quickly had his limbs cut down by ASAP, the all-star athlete personified. Oh, no. Oh, oh man, no. Oh, my God. Pile driver. Look for that pile driver. Oh, no. Pile oh, driver. Oh, no. ASAP. ASAP gets him up. Oh, that's got to be it, Roy. One, two. No. What? Arbor Man kicked out. I can't believe it. I, I really thought that was it, Orville. Cradle hook, fireman's carry, slam. And it was not enough to put away the Arbor Man. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. ASAP now. Oh, beautiful drop kick there by Arbor Man. Can that be what he needed to shift the momentum, Roy? Is he gonna walk away victorious here in Love Still Sucks? It better damn well could be. Oh, it's a gurry there. And I think that might be all she wrote for Arbor Man. Shining Wizard. Shining Wizard. 
And that's all she wrote, ladies and gentlemen. Well, let's take a look back at some of these moments here in this matchup. That great old fireman's carry slam. This beautifully executed drop kick. And then, of course, the move that picked up the win here for ASAP, the Shining Wizard. What an absolutely impressive show here by the all-star athlete personified, ASAP. I, well, Roy, I, I think we got to say, I think ASAP may have proved the spy here versus the world. Absolutely. ASAP, definitely. Like I said earlier, he's on the road. He keeps telling the story. Weird. But he got some moves. St. Armour Man got the moves. He got the moves. Hello everyone, welcome back. The last time we met we talked about what is a door, and what isn't a door. Today we will be talking about what happens when you get possessed by the unknown. Possession from the unknown is a very rare scenario but very possible. Effects from being possessed by the unknown include the following. Shortness of breath. Fainting. Dizziness and, in some cases, even death. What should you do, if you know a loved one that has been possessed by the unknown? You must utilize the Kill Method. What is the Kill Method? The Kill Method, short for, Knowledge, Inspect, Learn, Leave, was designed by Atrium Health and by Dr. Mamad K. Abdel Razak, M.D to be the sure method in dealing with possession. Don't touch that dial now, we're just getting started. Let's get Silva! American gonna be able to talk after this one. Yeah. Right, Silver Guy taking Merrick out tonight. Oh, yeah. Boy, all Roy, the Silver Standard, ecstatic, looks to defeat Merrick tonight. His first match back in almost six years, Roy. Do you think ecstatic? You know, this is an interesting contest. Two of BTW's originals going back and forth in this contest. And I, uh, Matt Orvel, I really don't know what to think. Oh, Roy. It's been years. It's been years, and I still get chills every time. I don't know much about him, but here he is. And his opponent, this is Mary. Something about those big bug eyes, Roy. I just don't like it. For me, it's the zipper. The zipper? Yeah, he has that zipper on his mouth. Has Mary ever talked? I, 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 you know, earlier in the night in the promo, he, before he gave Ecstatic that letter, he unzipped his mask and his mouth was moving. And it didn't look like he had any teeth, Norvell. What is under that mask, Roy? Who is this man? We've never known. We, 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 we've never known. But he, yet he's made such an impact and he's been such an important part of versus the world wrestling history. Absolutely. Merrick's done a lot of things. A very decorated superstar, might I say. Oh, 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 ecstatic! He started off hot! 
Static Watson is a Merrick here. Come on, Phil. Gotta get this ring. He wants to. He wants to take Merrick out before Merrick has. Whoa! I'll get a chance to take the advantage here. I don't think I've ever seen the Silver Standard so flustered. Look at this. Good Lord. He's just bouncing Merrick all around the outside of the ring. Absolutely. What the hell, Roy? Come on, people. Oh, what's he thinking? The match hasn't even damn started yet. Whoa. Oh, my God, Roy. How impressive was that? That signature tope con hilo off the, off the still steps there. Roy. Roy. Y'all want to fight me, y'all. I'll see something that y'all know. Merrick now grounded. Where are you? And I'm so sorry. What the heck? I cannot sleep. I cannot dream tonight. Hey, stop. Oh, We're going to get oh, copywritten. Oh, 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 oh no. Man. Ecstatic. Oh, Shout slammed on the apron by Merrick. My God. Let's we'll take a look that. at this again. Oh, how it all led oh, to be. Tope oh, Con oh, Hilo oh, followed oh, up. Oh. Oh, by man. an apron choke oh, slam by Merrick. Oh, oh my God! Ecstatic just bouncing ah, off man, the canvas the there. Hour. Roy, let's keep ah, in mind this match has way. yet to start. The bell has oh. not rang. Stay back, Merrick. Stay back. Merrick. Uh. Stay back. Uh. Stay back. Uh. Is Ecstatic gonna be set to continue here, Roy? Uh, that, that wasn't a very good tumble there. Mm -hmm. Much standards in that, as the Silver Wolf would say. But now. Oh. Oh. Merrick, whipping ecstatic into that turnbuckle. Oh, 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 oh my god, Merrick with the high knee in the corner and just backflipped out of the ring like it was nothing. Okay, that was cool. And, and uh, wait, oh my Northern god. Lights suplex by Merrick. Just chucking all 185 pounds of the silver standard right over his shoulder. We have not seen Merrick compete in the ring in a singles contest oh, in God. almost six years, and it looks like he is still oh, as dominant oh, as God. ever. God. On, Choking the silver standard Two. now. Oh! Oh! Uppercut there by the silver standard. Absolutely, he could be trying oh. to make it. Oh, God! <laughs> Merrick with a forearm oh, and a throat oh, thrust. Oh, oh, man. Come on. That was nasty. Look at the way Merrick is very particular with his movements. Everything he does is calculated. Just like that back suplex there, taking Ecstatic off his feet. Ram Jam? Ram Jam, Roy! Look, I have to say, Merrick is a very effective opponent, but also, the biggest thing, Ecstatic poked a lot of fun earlier. Almost a little too much fun, in my in my opinion. Maybe, it, maybe Merrick's pretty upset about that. I, well, we wouldn't know. We don't really know much about this mysterious man, but it looks like he might be going for a top rope ram jam. Static's got a shot to the gut. Super standard. Oh, hell of a forearm there to the side of the head. And now... Uh-oh. Oh! Roy. The Static. silver standard showing his own here. Absolutely. Putting everything he has to that uppercut. He knows he has to keep Merrick down. Truck stop! Truck stop! Signature maneuver of the silver standard, but it only earns him the two. We have seen both of these men do so many things here in Versus the World, and this is the first time we're ever seeing them compete against one another. Absolutely. This is one, this is one of those matchups where we, we, we don't see much anymore in VTW where we have two classic VTW entertainers going back and forth. It's refreshing to see for sure. The nostalgia in the ring right now yeah. is through the roof. Oh, yeah. One thing to touch on. Yeah, I, I, I see Static doing a lot of axe handles lately. What's up with that? Three. I don't know, Roy. Maybe he's figured out. Maybe he's figured out something none of the rest of us know. No. Oh, Merrick there with a big clothesline. Oh no. Could this be the end for Ecstatic? Beautiful vertical suplex. Merrick smiting the Silver Standard to the ground. A falling splash. Kick out at two there by the Silver Standard. Merrick now staring down referee Creed Ohm. 
both of these men, as I said earlier, long decorated histories here in Versus the World. Which one of these men is going to walk away victorious in this hard fought contest? Oh, oh, oh he goes for the Reno kick! He goes for the Reno kick! Ecstatic reverses out! Oh my god! What? Did you see that, Roy? Foot stop right to the face. Good Lord. Merrick goes for the Reno kick. The finishing maneuver of Merrick. Stand and fit. Oh. CLB. CLB. CLB version one. This could be all. No. How? How did Merrick kick out of the CLB? Ecstatic hitting that move pretty early on in this matchup. He caught Merrick off guard. Come on, Ecstatic, stay on him. Merrick is now one of the only people to kick out of that maneuver. Who does that say more about early on in this contest, Roy? Does it say more about Ecstatic able to find a way to hit a big maneuver early on? Or does it say more about Merrick able to kick out of a move that's beaten so many people and won so many championships? Absolutely. The Silver Standard now looking for that Gator roll. Oh, Gator roll locked in. Static taking yeah. no time in between. He wants to roll, yeah. flatten Merrick oh, out. Oh, Looks like he's rolling all over him, Roy. Uh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh Lord. Yeah. What the heck? What the hell is happening here? The Silver Standard's been eating oh, his Wheaties. Oh, oh, Look at this. Ah. Pile driver. Pile driver, Roy. I think he has something else in mind, Orville. Yeah. Oh, he's got that stretch oh, submission. Yeah. He's got yeah. that stretch submission, that modified Boston Crab. Yeah. Absolutely. Shades of Drew Gulak there. Oh, Merrick now. Down for the cat ecstatic. I think that took a lot out of both men there. I'd say it did. Merrick, a lot to gain and a lot to lose in this matchup. He One. needs to make an impressive showing here. His first Two. match back, the Silver Standard, looking to climb his way to Three. the top of VTW. He also needs the win. Four. The momentum from this matchup is going to benefit either one of these Five. men. Absolutely. Both these men have had a pretty solid year thus Six. far, both in the final, the final four of the Rumble. <laughs> Ecstatic with a win early on, and now it's coming to trade it blows, God! And let's not forget that Merrick was the one to eliminate Ecstatic from the Reunion Rumble this year. He took away Ecstatic's shot at the World Heavyweight or YouTube Championship. Absolutely. Ecstatic there with the headbutt. The Silver Standard cannot be happy about the way things ended in the Reunion Rumble. Merrick, oh my God! That classic dog headbutt! Shades of Terry Falk! And now Merrick, what could he be looking for here? I think he might be looking for that Reno kick. Oh, oh. Absolutely, that stair says it all. Oh. No, oh. Ecstatic oh. got him, sweeps the leg. Whisper in the wind. One, two, three. No. Damn. Roy, both of these men are throwing out all the stops. For a second there, it looked like the Silver Standard was going to bite the ear of Merrick off right there in that, in that headlock. Did you see that? He may have to unmask him to do that first. Do you think it's a bad plan? Definitely not. The Silver Standard trying, trying to get that gauntlet off. Perhaps maybe uh, straining the wrist there. Ecstatic Merrick. Both of these men putting it all on the line here tonight. That love still sucks. Absolutely, Ecstatic's not, not staying down. These men now trading blows yet again. Oh, throat thrust by Merrick. Oh. Swing for that clothesline there. Oh gosh, what a oh! You're a noggy! It's over! It's over! It's not over, Roy. Merrick hits Ecstatic with a huge Uranagi. What can he be looking for here? Is he going for that kick? Oh, and Ecstatic yet again ducks the kick. Going for the CLB version two. Could he hit it? Merrick gets out of it. Reno kick. Reno kick. And that's all she wrote, Roy. Good God. What an impressive contest. Take a look.
look back at some big moments during this matchup here. Ecstatic going for that CLB V2. Only to be countered by the Reno kick, which ultimately picks up the victory here at Raw. Still sucks. My God. You now know how dangerous this man can be. I don't like this at all. Look at this. What is this? What the fuck is this? The mouth is moving. Nothing's coming out. Uh, I just. Uh, I, I, I don't really know what to make of that, Rubel. Well, Roy, I was about to ask you where Merritt goes from here, but I think his actions speak for themselves. Merrick and Ecstatic putting on one hell of a contest here, and love still sucks. Ultimately, Merrick walking away victorious with that Reno kick. Super standard pointing there. to make of this. He's saying something or I don't quite know what he's saying. He can't get up. Did you did you notice the nod? Merrick just nodded at him. What is he saying? I don't What a contest roll. My lord. Ace, hey man, it's Zach. Dude, I'm, I'm looking everywhere for you. Are you at the show? Uh, no. Um, Aaron Jones uh, gave me the weekend off, and you know, I, I, I know what he's trying to do. Um, but I mean, I already sent the message out to both him and Astro Christ, so they know what's up. Okay, 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 okay. Ace, listen, man, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. <sighs> I know that you won the Reunion Rumble. Congrats. That's awesome, man. I'm happy for you. I'm proud of you. Man. You're going to do great things, but, and this is a big but, okay? <sighs> Be careful. Sending that message to Aaron Jones or Asher Christ or whoever's the champion, man. You, <sighs> look, I care a lot about you, but you got a long way to go before you're ready to cash that in. You got a long way to go before you're ready to be a YouTube or a world heavyweight champion here in VTW. It's so much more responsibility than you think it is. That's actually why I wanted to, wanted to find you here. Um, so listen, ma'am, next time you're down, all I wanna do, I just wanna pull you aside. I wanna talk to you face to face, man to man. I've been around a long time and I think I could teach you something because I wanna see you succeed. So how's that sound? That sounds great, dude. I mean, I know I, I haven't been in the business for a while. I'm not as long as you, especially. And, you know, it is a gutsy move calling out the champions. But, you know, I got to make my – I got to stake my claim here at VCW. That was the whole purpose of why I came here in the first place is to make my presence known. And I feel like, you know, doing that helped that. But, I mean, I could definitely, you know, use some knowledge with this contract because I've never had anything like this before. So, and I want to be there. Trust me. I, like I said, I know what Aaron's trying to do, and I want to be there. But I I have a feeling that he's, he's pulling something up his sleeve. So I'll be back in March. Okay. Don't get me wrong, no matter what Aaron says. Okay, man. Look, man, you got a, you got a really bright future ahead of you. I really believe that. But uh, we're going to put in some work for you, all right, man? Yes, sir. All right. Look, I'll see you in March, bud, okay? Yes, sir. All right. See you, man. Oh, that kid's got a long way to go. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is a number one contenders match scheduled under Love Sucks Street Fight. <laughs>
Introducing first, this is Henry Fine. Jacob Ryan. Feels good to hear those words again. Now let's go become number one contender. It's good to be back. Come on! Ladies and gentlemen, here we are. Main event time. Unrefined Jacob Ryan is back here, and he's back in a Love Sucks street fight. What a way to come back to singles competition. D-Lock and Jacob Ryan tore the house down last year at Love Sucks in the main event, also in the Love Sucks street fight. And we get to witness it here again, Roy. What a time to be alive. Yeah. Absolutely. Jacob Ryan with a new attitude. This could be his night. Whichever one of these men walk away victorious, they will be the number one contender for Aaron Jones's World Heavyweight Championship. It's not going to be an easy night against the former champ, though. Looking to claim his spot as number one contender. D-Lock lost the World Heavyweight Championship at Christmas Chaos in a triple threat match against Aaron Jones and Ecstatic. Seemingly robbed of the BTW World title and has not been able to get his hands back on it. Corvell, I'm getting chills. There's a certain look in, on the eyes of the outlaw walking around the ring. Usually he's dancing around, prancing around, conducting the choir. But no, not tonight. Not tonight. The outlaw is focused. It's all business tonight with the outlaw. Sporting a new look going into the new year here at VTW. Looking to claim his spot as number one contender against the man he beat last year in this same matchup. Are the odds in d -Lock's favor again this year? Go. This is dance. Oh. oh my gosh. Referee Nelson Peabody calls for the bail. D-Lock starting it off hot and heavy here. Oh. Referee Peabody better not try to pee his pants. He's going to have his hands full. Both these men want to shot that title. Good Lord. Suicide dive by the outlaw. And he is just taking it to Jacob Ryan. The intensity in D-Lock right now is through the roof, Roy. I'm, I'm really curious to see how this new attitude of both men is going to play a part in this contest. We've seen both of these men grow a lot as performers and people in the last year since their last Love Suck Street Fight. Both men have been through so much here in VTW. Both have held championships. Both have had a taste of success. And now they are on an even playing field, Roy. God, look at these... Look at these punches to the head. Oh, God, did you hear the thud? The sternum of D-Lock. Jacob Ryan with another fist to the face, and now we're going to be... Roy, if this match continues at this pace, I think this is going to be one of the most brutal matches we ever see here in VTW. Oh, plastic lid. Oh, right into the knee of D-Lock. I can't feel it. It definitely can. I don't know how effective that, that is, but let's take a look again at the suicide dive by the outlaw. These heavy-handed, close fist punches in this street fight. It's all legal. Oh, Jacob Ryan looking for something now underneath the ring here. Oh, Roy. We saw these a lot in play last year in this same match. And th did you catch... Look at that out the corner of your eye there in the in the curtain, Roy. That's the world heavyweight oh, champion God. Aaron Jones oh. eyeballing this match. Oh. He should just go home. Oh, oh my God! D Lock with that pull that pull cue right across the back. Oh, that pop hand across the chest. God bless. Oh my God, Roy. Oh, Jacob Ryan. 
Jacob Ryder, are you set to continue? I have a yes. feeling it's not going to get oh. any uh, oh. any more lighthearted. Oh! oh. oh. Jesus. Oh, oh so my God. God. To that knee. Oh. Both of these men oh. beating the absolute hell out of one another. Look how bent those pants are oh. already. Uh, Fighting with these cookie uh, sheets here. Uh, oh my goodness. Uh, oh no. Uh, oh, a little cookie uh, sheet there. Uh, oh, uh, uh, oh no, maybe not. Damn it. It's not uh, a D lock ooh. to get out of the way. That would not have felt good. And now. Oh! D lock there with the chop block with that pull cue. Uh, Very innovative uh, offense there by D lock uh, taking the big man down to a knee. God. Oh, oh gosh. Oh no. Not that one. Not that one. No. Dilo, come on now. Not again. Oh my god. Did you hear that? Ladies and gentlemen, there's single ply pans and then there's double ply, which are two pans on top of one another. And that's what that big pan is. A double ply pan to the back of Jacob Ryan, the unrefined one. And now I see a steel chair, Roy. It wouldn't be a street fight without one. Oh, no. Oh, Jacob Ryan catches it. Smart. Oh. Smart of the unrefined. And now. Oh. Oh. Gut shot. This has been absolutely hellacious, Roy. Orvel, the match just started. The match just started, Orvel. And we've already seen. Pull cues. Pop hands. Chairs. Oh my! You know, for once, it's good to see some extreme action. But this—I mean, this is getting this. This is already getting pretty vicious here. It's a good change of pace here for versus the world wrestling. But my lord! Just like old times. Just like old times. Oh! Good God! Did you hear the chair connect with the rib cage of D Lock? Look at the look at the look at the fist. Closed fist by Jacob Ryan. He wants that world heavyweight championship. Roy, like I said before, whoever wins this match will be the number one contender for the world heavyweight championship, and they'll get their match against Aaron Jones at the next VTW special event wake up call. Absolutely. I guess it's gonna require both these men to do everything that that it can that that, that they can to, to achieve this. Both men are gonna to have to be pushed to their absolute limit tonight. I don't think either one of these men is gonna go down without a hard fought battle. You know, Orvel, my real question. Aaron Jones made this match this match official. Both of these men are the ones that have been targeting Aaron Jones. Does he find pleasure in this? I think he knows at some point he's going to have to defend that championship against one of these two men. And if it was my guess, Roy, he had to put them in this type of match so that he gets them at less than 100%. He knows he can't beat them at their best. Oh, did, you see the, did you see the cane bid? Over the out. back of the outlaw. Oh, my God. I can't feel good. Your time's done. Uh, Stay down. Jacob Bryan. Oh! God, right across the sternum. Jacob Bryan's not playing games. Roy, this is making me uncomfortable. Stay right in the neck. Down. Don't make me do this. Right in the neck cavity. Oh, oh, no. Wait. You know, Ormel, not many people know this. d -Lock used to play baseball. Used to... Play baseball! Oh, you see the well! You see the well already! Put it down! Put it down! Oh, D Lock! Oh my god! Wait, is that Kane? Oh! Low blow by Jacob Ryan! I wouldn't want no more of that either. No, he's, 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 he's probably swinging what? 90 miles an hour? I would say so. Jacob Ryan wanted to get the hell out of the way there of a, of a third shot with that kendo stick. The skin being pinched by the open bamboo closing on God. one another. Look at the back! God! The welts on Jacob Ryan. 
Whew, these men are putting it all on the line, Roy. Get up. Jacob now has something. Get up. Something sinister in mind with that pan. Come on. He just gave a pan to D Lock? No. Hell no, Roy. Hell no. Oh, God. Come on. Hit me. Come on. Oh, no. Oh. Look at the bit. Look at the, the intention. Look at these pans. Oh, oh God. The look of Jacob Ryan. Look at him. The look in his eyes. Did you see him smack me? Look. Oh. 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 Shotgun! Oh no, it's over, Roy. No. It's over. The D lock is. Wait, what the hell? Oh no. D lock making some. some... Uh, we've never seen this side of the outlaw. He's going to the top. It'll be fine if he doesn't go through the roof. Damn it, he went through the roof! Oh, God! The outlaw through the roof! Right on top of Jacob Ryan! Chair meeting the sternum! This could be it! Both men completely exhausted! That's what these matches do, Orville! That's what these matches do! Love sucks street fight and it never disappoints! d Jacob Ryan, second year in a row! Roy, I gotta say, I think this is more brutal than last year already. My God. These open hand attacks by both men right now. The boss man, just, just, just studying. Just studying over there. He knows whoever walks away from this is not gonna be at their very best. Oh no, D-Lock now. Oh, what's he got in mind, Roy? This could be devastating. This could be absolutely devastating. D-Lock setting that chair up in the corner. What's gonna happen here? This never ends well, ever. This is, this is, I, this is heinous. D-Lock looking to put Jacob Ryan away once and for all here with that chair in the buckle. Oh my good God! D-Lock thrown right into that chair. Sent flying outside the ring. It's gotta be over. Pin him, Jacob Ryan, pin him. This could be all. Jacob Ryan now has those pans set up in one place. Oh no. Perhaps making a bed for the outlaw. Could we see the Sidewinder suplex onto the pop hands, onto the pop hands, Roy. That's all she wrote. No number one contender. This could be all. <laughs> one, two, three. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Jacob Ryan walks away victorious. Wait, what the hell, Roy? What, what the hell is this? What? What are you doing out here? What? Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, no. Jacob, turn around. Come on. No. Damn it. Damn it. What a hard fought match. Not with the, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Roy. Roy. Don't tell no. me. Don't tell me what I think is in that bag is in that damn bag. Oh damn it. my God, Roy. That damn is it. thousands Holy and shit. thousands Holy of thumbtacks. We saw Holy this last shit. year. Oh no, this Jacob is... Ryan put through the tax last year. Damn it. No. Aaron, no. No. No! Damn it! Oh my god! <laughs> Jacob Ryan sent <laughs> right into the tax! Oh, <laughs> Roy! Somebody stopped it! There's one in the head! Look at that! Hundreds of tax in the back of Jacob Ryan, the unrefined one! 
Oh no. And look at Jones just pressing his foot, driving the tax into the back of Jacob Ryan. This man will face Aaron Jones next month at Wake Up Call for that World Heavyweight Championship. This is what I'm telling you, Roy. He wants Jacob Ryan to be at less than 100%. At least that's over, Orvel. I, oh, God, I can't watch a man. Oh, my good God. Wait. Jacob Ryan is getting up. How? He's getting up. Are you kidding me? No. No. Aaron, leave. Leave, come on, what the, no. Not again. No. No, not again. God damn it. Into the tax again, Jacob Ryan. Hundreds of tax in his back. After such a hard fight match with D-Lock. Good God, ladies and gentlemen. The last thing you Aaron Jones standing tall. Jacob Ryan, your number one contender, but is in shambles. This is a night we'll never forget. I think another night that we'll never forget, Roy, is going to be next month at VTW Wake Up Call. Jacob Ryan, he's going to look to get his revenge on Aaron Jones as he faces him for the World Heavyweight Championship. Well, Orville, I'm, 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 I'm so happy that Jacob Ryan has this opportunity, but let us not forget what just happened. I, I, is he going to be able to compete? I guess we're gonna have to see. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for sticking with us. For BTW Love Still Sucks, this is Orvel Miguel Galeo. And Roy Farnsworth, signing off.